Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And today I love skincare. I love skincare every day, but we're gonna talk about it today. And if you're not new here, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. I have been wanting to film this for ages. Um, I'm fairly passionate about skincare. Makeup is fun and I love it and I do it all the time. But skincare is super important and I think that we should talk about it. So I'm going to today. Okay, so I figured I would start with the things I use like once in a while or once a week or randomly depending on what my skin needs. So the first thing I have is this Yensa Pumpkin and Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Face Mask. I love this. I got it in my BoxyCharm in the fall, I believe, and I use it once a week. You put it on a nice thin layer, and you leave it there for 10-ish minutes, and then you wet your face and gently rub it in and wash it off, and it leaves my fit skin feeling so soft, like a tiny hiney on a baby. It's really nice. I love this stuff a lot. It helps with congestion. Um, sometimes I get little bumps in my skin and when I use this it seems to take care of it entirely so I love that. I also have this Kaolin clay mask from the Inky List. Super affordable. This I use once a week um, in the morning just randomly several days before or after I use the pumpkin mask because I don't want to do too much to strip my skin or make it cranky. And then I was given this Do You Love Me Jelly Face Mask by Truly. It's got little hearts and glitter that are plant-based so I don't feel bad about using it. And this I love. When I use it, after I wash it off, the next morning my skin still feels incredible. I don't know exactly what in it causes that, but I like it a lot. It is kind of a hassle getting all the glitter off, but I definitely think that it's worth it for what it does for my skin. And then once, once a month, I guess, I shave my face, and when I do that, I use this Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I think any facial oil will do. I just got suckered into buying this quite a while ago and I don't really use it for skincare. So I thought I'll use it uh, when I shave my face and it works great for that. And then the last thing I use on like a weekly basis for now is this Orangens Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacial Water. I love this stuff so much. I love the smell of it. Um, we usually cruise in the wintertime for like a couple of weeks anyway, and so I don't want my skin to get dried out from the sunscreen or the air conditioning and being outside all day long. So I put this on my face every single night when we are cruising and it makes my skin very, very happy. And then because life isn't hard enough, that time of the month the PMS hits and I get the occasional hormonal acne. And I just recently discovered these Zit Stickas. This is the killer kind spot clarifying patch kit for the early stage Zit. I had a pretty bad one on my cheek and I put this on and the next morning it was completely gone. There was still a spot, you know, the redness but I scar pretty easily, so I was expecting that. Um, so that's really great for that. I got one on my chin a couple of days ago, and I used it, and it didn't go away, but the morning, two mornings after I used it, it was like all dried up and gone, washed right off with um, my morning cleansing routine, so that was really cool. So I think it just maybe dried it out faster than they normally do, because Normally I'll have a zit active for several days anyway, because I don't fuss with them. I don't squeeze, I don't pick. 
I don't do any of those things. My face scar is super, super easy. So if I leave it alone, the scars are a lot less. Okay, so on to morning skincare, everyday kind of stuff that I do no matter what. I wash my face in the morning, usually just with like a, a face halo and some water because all that's on there is moisturizer. And I find that does a really good job getting it off. And then I use these go-to exfoliating swipeys. I got these in a boxy charm. <laughs> boxy charms are really great for discovering things. Um, I got these and you just wipe it all over your face. It's super gentle. It's a little pad and you leave it on there for about 60 seconds and then wash it off with just water. Um, so I do that every single morning before I go in with my daily skincare. And the first part of my morning routine and my nighttime routine are the same. So after my face is cleansed, I go in with this AHA BHA clarifying, clarifying treatment toner from Cosrx. I started using this uh, back in December. This is my second bottle. I think that this helps um, to keep breakouts to a minimum. I usually only get them around my period, so I don't know how much it's helping. My skin is really, really happy. So I put this on, and then while my face is still damp from that, I go in with a squirt of this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I've been using this since December as well. I love this. I use it morning and night. It's amazing. I put it on all over my face, my eyelids, my under eyes, my neck, my decollete. It goes everywhere. So I like that a lot. And I let that sink in. And then I rehydrate my face with this Murad Hydrating Toner. Also came in a boxy charm. Um, been using that since December as well. And then I go in with my Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I really wanted to try this. It came in this month's Boxy Charms. I've only been using it for a little while. Um, hyaluronic Serum is great. You do have to be careful and make sure that you moisturize really well before you apply hyaluronic acid and after you apply hyaluronic acid. It's super important um, because it keeps moisture in your skin, you know, on your skin. And so if you don't have anything there, it's gonna suck it out of your skin. So this I like a lot. I've been able to wear it under makeup with no problem. So that's been a very big win as far as I'm concerned because I put makeup on almost every day. Except for on the weekend when I use this, I don't put makeup on. It, they don't work well. This is a very thick, very hydrating lotion. And so I do one day a week anyway with no makeup. Oops. And on top of the hyaluronic serum, I started using this Dear Claire's Vitamin E Mask. I got it as a sample and I ran out of my Clinique Moisture Surge Gel Lotion, which is what I normally use every single morning. Um, but since trying this, I may not buy the Clinique right away. That is $70 and this is $12. This is just the sample size, but I did look up the full size and there's quite a difference and I like how this feels and it works great under makeup. So that's super cool. And then every single morning and every single night, I put on a lip balm. I have the Laneige lip balm that I use. It's almost gone. I've had this since last spring, maybe. I got it when Sephora had their semi-annual sale. And then I have another lip balm that I use if I'm in a different room and didn't put on the Laneige, which I normally do. <sighs> and for a while now, I've been using this e.l.f. Cooling Under Eye Refresher. I just put it on and let it sit for a few minutes before I do my makeup and it doesn't seem to interfere with concealer or primers, anything like that. So I like that a lot. 
And then my daughter got this in her boxy charm. It's the 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Gel Contour, Contour Gel? Yeah, no, it says gel contour. Anyway, it's this, you squeeze down on it, a little bit comes out, it's a very thick gel. Um, she's entirely too young to use this, so she gave it to her old mama, so I appreciate that. And I've used this two days now, and I like it. It doesn't mess with my makeup, the application, the longevity, so I'll continue to use that for now. Okay, and next we have Niacinamide from the Inky List. My only complaint about this is that the top gets kind of gross. There's just, unless I wipe it off every single time, which I think I'm gonna do, and then I don't, and it's a big mess. But I use this several mornings a week. I don't know if it's helping to control my excess oils or not, but I'll keep trying it. So that brings us to nighttime, and the first thing I do is wash my face. I got a sample of the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Love this, I think it's fantastic. I did, so when you belong to BoxyCharm, they have a little store and it opens on the 10th or the second Monday. It's, it seems random, but it opens and then you can order all the stuff on there at a discount. So I did find another one, it's a papaya, cleansing balm that I'm going to try for this one and everything in that store is seriously reduced in price which we will get to in just a second <laughs> um, so I'm really really liking this you just uh, rub it all over your face and it kind of melts and the makeup melts and then I just add a little bit of water and it gets all milky and then it it washes everything off super super easy Prior to using that, because I just got that a little while ago, I've been interested in it for a long time, but Clinique is expensive, and do I really need? Anyway, this came in my BoxyCharm ages ago. It's the LMS Superfood Sika Calm Cleansing Foam. So when you pump it out, it foams up. I really like that. I've been using it for a really long time. It has lasted a very long time. Um, it smells nice. It gets the job done. I like that a lot. And then after I do all of that, I wash it off, I go back in with some micellar water and a reusable bamboo cotton round. I don't buy the disposable ones anymore because I have guilt. So um, I figure that's the last step. If there's anything lingering, which there's usually not, it'll catch it. Um, the cotton rounds are white, so it's glaringly obvious if I've missed something. Um, I have a heck of a time getting into the very inner corner of my eye with the face halo that I use to wash my face using the cleansing products. So the cotton round, I can get in there and clean out the uh, inner corner highlight that I like to put on. Um, so that works out really, really well. And then I've been using this e.l.f. Um, exfoliating lip balm. This is supposed to be the clear version, brown sugar. It's amazing. I wear liquid lipstick every single day, except, you know, maybe one day on the weekend. And it's a little uncomfortable putting it on because it's super greeny. But it takes off my liquid lipstick and nourishes and moisturizes my lips at the same time which is a huge win because I'd have to do a separate exfoliator and then put on more lip balm. So I do this weirdly and then I brush my teeth <laughs> and then um, I go in with lip balm and my lips have been really happy. No dry, cracky, yucky bits happening. So I like that a lot. Okay, for my nighttime routine and it's a little excessive perhaps but my face has been lived in for a long time and I want to take good care of it. I'm not afraid of getting old. I just want to do it as gracefully as possible. And for me, that means putting a bunch of product on my face before I go to bed at night. So once again, at bedtime, I start with the AHA BHA Clarifying Toner. And then I go in with the Snail Serum. Nope, Snail Mucin. I usually call it snail slime. Sometimes snail jizz. It depends on our mood. 
Um, using that has cleared up my face um, around my nose and in my eyebrows. I used to have really bad psoriasis, really bad. It's been in my ears, it's been on my back, and since using this, I have not had one yucky bit at all since using that. Um, so if you have any kind of skin stuff happening, I highly recommend, highly recommend it anyway. I think it's amazing. Um, in fact, my sister uses the dual action one and the moisturizing cream, and she's got her family using it and they just love it. So I cannot recommend the COSRX stuff enough. I just, if I had to give up something, that would not be on the list. Okay, so after this nail mucin, I go in with the Murad Hydrating Toner again. While that is still pretty darn wet on my face, I have been going in with the Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream. Really, really liking this. My skin feels great afterwards. In the morning, it feels really nice. I love that a lot. And then, so I usually start with that on my chest and my neck and then on my, and then on my chest, I started using this Love Script Decollete and Neck Cream. Uh, I got it from the BoxyCharm store, so it was way, way cheap. Um, uh, it smells a little medicinal, but I like it. And like I said, it was really affordable. So I do the hyaluronic and then that on my chest and then I put some more of the hyaluronic cream on my neck and face and then I go in with this Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus Sub D and Neck Treatment. So this I actually got on accident. I thought I was ordering the Pericone MD Cold Plasma Plus I. So this, this little pot for my neck is and jaw is $130. That's expensive. And the only reason I got it was because I got this little eye cream from the BoxyCharm store for $9. This is $125. So I would not have repurchased this ever and paid full price. Except my sister came over one day and she was like, wow, your eyes look really good. What are you doing? And I was like, oh, it's a very expensive eye cream. Oh no. So I bought her a thing of it and her eyes didn't like it. So I wanted to repurchase it for quite a while. So that makes me happy. So then I put these on and if I don't use the, I said I was, I've been using this on my face. My face likes it. I figure if it's good enough for my neck and my jaw, it's probably good enough for my face. Um, but since discovering more of the COSRX stuff, I started using the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. So I'm using this on my face most nights. And again, my skin just feels absolutely amazing. So that's what I'm sticking to right now. I don't change up my skincare a whole lot. Um, I used to be super, super dry and then my face changed, my skin decided oily was the way to go. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully this helped you in some way and you can find some little gems like I have. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Hopefully, please while I pick up the stuff that I dropped.